Welcome to our LaTeX tutorial on text and document formatting. In LaTeX, we can change the appearance and size of text to some extent. For example, we can produce text that is italicized. In this sentence, I'm going to italicize the word italicized. This will produce, and then to get italics, I do backslash text IT curly brackets and in the curly brackets I type whatever text I want italicized. So this will produce italicized and then I'm going to close my curly brackets text. We can also use boldface text this will produce and the code for that is backslash text BF for boldfaced curly brackets we can also use the small caps font this will produce and the code for that is backslash text SC curly brackets so that gives us small caps and we can use the typewriter font this will produce and for that we do backslash text TT And that typewriter font is really useful if you are typing a URL, for example, and you want to make it stand out or set it apart from your normal looking text. For example, please visit Mrs. Crummel's website at, and then we can do our backslash text TT and type the URL, HTTP colon slash slash mrscrummel.com and our curly brackets we can also change the size of our font let's look at the sentence please excuse my dear aunt Sally if I want to increase the size of the font, I'm going to use the code slash begin large. So let's compare this to please excuse my, and then I want to start making the text larger. So backslash begin in curly brackets the word large. and then type the text you want to make large dear aunt Sally and then we will do slap backslash end curly brackets large and let's build that so if we zoom in some more we may be able to see that the yeah we can see if we zoom in that the second sentence is slightly larger in size than the first and the only thing we increased were, were the words dear aunt Sally and you can see they are a little bit larger in that second sentence if we want to go even larger than that backslash begin and I'm gonna use the word large but this time I'm gonna use a capital L and then end curly brackets again large with a capital L okay, so that uh, is even larger we can continue to go larger 
I'm just going to copy and paste this and change the word large to huge. And we can go even larger if we use huge but with a capital H. We can also make our text size smaller than the normal text. We can use, instead of large, we would use small. So here, my, here the words Dear Aunt Sally are smaller than the normal text. And we can even go smaller than that using the command tiny. Another type of text formatting we can use is justification. Do we want our text to be centered on the page? left justified or right justified. If I want my text to be centered, I use the command backslash begin curly brackets center and then my text and backslash end curly bracket center. we can see that that text is now centered on the page. To left justify my text, I use begin curly brackets flush left. And then backslash end in curly bra brackets flush left, all one word. Oh, and I got a compiling error on line 31. Let's take a look at that. I misspelled flush left. So we'll fix that. Flush left. Build our document. There we go. Notice that when we use the command flush left, it does not indent the new paragraph, which is why it appears to be further to the left than our sentences above. And we can justify our text to the right using the command flush right. So I'll just replace my flush left here with flush right. And if I scroll over, we see that this is right justified.